everybody, it's Mike from Aviary, and today I'm going to show you how to create an animation with our effects editor Peacock. So let's get started. We'll start by making a fairly simple file. Open the generators tab and pull out the plaid hub and drop it in your workspace. Um, let's change some of the properties here. Let's add some vertical stripes. We'll change the color seed here, get something that's interesting. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And let's add a little bit of distortion by upping the distortion strength. And that looks pretty good. So let's add an effect. Go to the effects tab and pull out the kaleidoscope hub and drop it on that connection between the plaid and the canvas and it'll automatically connect itself. So as you can see that kaleidoscope produces a pretty cool effect. And we can change the properties to get a slightly different look. So we're sliding the angle one slider here, and you can see it produces different slices in the kaleidoscope. Pretty interesting. So let's animate that effect. First, we must expose that property so we can attach our animation timer to it. And to do that, go to the parameters tab over here in the right sidebar, find the property that we were playing with, which is angle one, and check the inbox. So you can see that there's now a new connection on the Kaleidoscope Hub called Angle 1. This is where we'll attach our animation timer so we can animate that property. So open the UI Elements tab here on the left and find the animation timer and drag it to your workspace. Now connect the animation timer to the Kaleidoscope Hub. To do that, click on the adjusted value pin here at the bottom and drag connection up to the Angle 1 parameter on the Kaleidoscope Hub. So now that we've added an animation timer, there's a new option under the file menu called Export Animation. And hitting play will give you a rough preview of what your animation will look like. So all in all, pretty cool. But let's customize our animation just a little bit more. Cancel out of this. And as you can see in the animation timer that we have an output minimum of 0 and output maximum 100, which means it'll cycle through this angle one property from 0 to 100. But if we look at this in the Kaleidoscope Hub, the angle one property goes from 0 to 360. So we're not actually cycling through the entire property. So to fix that, let's go back to the animation timer and set the output maximum to 360. Let's preview that animation. So let's go to File, Export Animation, and hit Play and you should see that the animation is much smoother this time. So this is a finished animation, but to save it to your computer as a video file, you first need to render it. So when we hit render, Peacock will calculate each of the frames and compile all of them into a video file that you can save to your computer. Now this usually takes a little bit of time, I think this one will probably be about a minute or so. Now that it's done, we have this option to save to disk, and this will let you save it to your computer. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop, and here is the result of the render. The animation was only about two seconds long, so I looped the output so we can get a good look at it. This was a simple animation, but Peacock is a very powerful effects editor, and you can come up with some very complicated and interesting animations just by moving hubs around, trying different properties, different parameters. So I suggest everybody jump in, have fun, experiment, and show us your results in the forum. Thanks.